Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. In today's video, I want to talk about my practice strategy I used for the preparation of my master's recital at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama in London. I did already a video on the mental preparation. If you haven't seen that, I will link it here. And now let's go and I will explain how I prepared. In total, I had to perform a program of 50 minutes of solo pieces, which were all very hard and was a demanding program. And I decided for myself that I have to have everything memorized at least three weeks before. I would love to have more time than three weeks, but as the curriculum and the schedule in the studies were so close and I had an orchestra concerto in May and another concerto in February, it is nearly impossible to get finished with the repertoire in the three months before. And so I said to myself, okay, just have the whole recital finished and memorized three weeks before. That's much more than I did last year, even though I was not very happy with my recital last year. And I scheduled my practice plan um, three weeks in advance what I'm going to do in there. So basically I tried to practice every day at least four hours. What I normally did was normally three to six hours. It depended if I had to work, if I had any concerts that I had to play or anything else um, which was happening in this week. And what I did was I had my final exam on the Thursday, the 8th of June and um, from that I was working backwards. So I was lucky enough to get a big haul for a run through on the Sunday before, which I can only recommend. It's a different feeling to play in a big hall than you do have when you are playing only in your practice room or only in a room that you are used to play in. For example, in the teaching room, um, it's just you are feeling different. So I had this run through on the Sunday before in a big room and I knew that I have to build my stamina for these pieces. So I have to play them at least three times. And I said to myself, okay, three times, I will play it four times and schedule it in. So before my final run through in the big hall, I also scheduled one run through then in front of my teacher, which was the Thursday before. And then the Sunday before I played for my teacher, I played for my friends. And this was actually better than I play for my teacher, I have to say. I don't know why. It could also be, I mean, you are not in the same um, state every time you play, of course. But I had this run through in front of my friends. And the Thursday before that, um, so three weeks before the recital, I had a run through for myself. I was just playing it in my room. I was stopping the time and I was recording it. And I was listening to it afterwards then. A run through always takes time and it takes a lot of energy, of course. And I only had these four run throughs to build my stamina, which I think were enough and because it was 50 minutes of repertoire i was thinking about how can i possibly prepare best for this amount of repertoire i have to play so what i did was that i made a plan and um, i had 50 minutes of program which i split it in i think 25 uh no 22 three and 27 minutes. I had seven pieces and I said I'm going to alternate them from day to day. So I'm going to practice um, three pieces on day one and four pieces on day two and then again uh, three pieces and then four pieces and then three pieces and then four pieces. So they always changed and it was always that I played the first three no the first four pieces and then the last three pieces because the last three pieces were technically more demanding for me than the other four pieces i had to play and what i normally did is as you might know i always practice in 25 minutes blocks and these blocks normally are getting together in a block of two hours or sometimes three hours 
and what I did was that I normally started 25 minutes with my warm-up and then my technique. I gave every piece 50 minutes which are two sessions. In one session I concentrated on the piece, the musical things in there, which I just called practice. So basically what I did when I said practice was that I was having the score in front of me, I was checking the dynamics, I was practicing in rhythms, I was just practicing what you normally do. And then I did another 25 minutes of memory work. There I used different strategies also in the end. So I basically started with flashcards um, if you want that I make a video about that please let me know in the comments then I will also do a video about that and I did only left hand or only right hand um, I started from different points in the piece I also did what I call page training so that I just play one page from the beginning till the um, next page and it has to be without mistakes from memory just that i get used playing it and every time i repeat it i think about another thing one time i think about my left hand one time i think about my right hand one time i think about my pedals one time i think about the dynamics that i just have another focus every time i play it by memory and it worked out quite well for me because i was really spending in that work on the pieces without getting overwhelmed and in the end of the day so what i did normally was just like i would just put the plan in here a warm-up and technique then piece one practice piece two memory piece three practice then i would have had a break normally and then um, piece one memory piece two practice p3 memory and then i would have a run through of all the three pieces and but sometimes i was just um, doing another memory practice session of one piece that didn't work out so well on the day or i was doing the fourth piece and then in the end, I was also working a little bit on my technique, which I always do a little bit to calm down from my practice when I have time. And um, that was basically the practice plan, how I prepared for my final recital. Yeah, so that's the preparation I did for my final exam. I hope it was helpful for you and that you might try it also if you have to prepare a bigger um, exam, if you have to prepare a longer recital and if you have any questions or if you want to share something that you do when you prepare for a recital, please let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to read them. Please subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any further videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye!